Anyone can recommend a great $10 to $15 cigar. This is my updated 2023 list of the 10 best budget cigars that you should smoke in 2023. Let's go. And this list is ordered not in best to worst, worst to best, it's cheapest to most expensive. And in my opinion, a budget cigar in this economy caps out at $7. So it's gonna start at the cheapest, and the most expensive cigars on this list are gonna go MSRP, $7. That's a budget cigar. I'm tired of these lists where they try and finagle and tell you, well, if you buy it on this website at this time, right now with this bundle, and it's on sale, that's the best budget cigar. You ain't getting no Nub Cameroon for five bucks. All the prices on my list are either MSRP or someplace like Specs, Total Wine, which, hate them if you want. If you're buying single sticks and you're on a budget, that's where they're gonna be cheapest. Let's start with number one. You've heard it said on this channel before. I'm gonna continue to say it because it's one of the best $2 cigars out there. It's the Quorum Shade by JC Newman. These Quorum Shade cigars, although not as luxurious as some of the big name brands, they come pretty darn close. Silky Blonde wrapper provides a sweet, smooth, almost honey-like taste. It's hard to beat the Quorum Connecticut Shade. Number two, sticking with discounted Connecticut cigars specifically, I'm gonna go with the Cuban Rounds. The Cuban Round Connecticut specifically. The Maduro is great, but the Connecticut is my number two pick for the best budget cigar in 2023. Check it out. Little bits of vanilla, little bits of graham cracker, little bits of pepper, little bits of salt. Not a lot, not like real big bold flavors, but shit, I'd smoke this over a Macanudo Cafe any day. All right, we focused on some Connecticut options. Let's go something a little darker for you folks who like a little bit of a darker cigar. My number three option for the best budget cigar is the Mark Twain Memoir, and it is made with Pennsylvania Broadway. The Mark Twain Memoir, wrapped in a unique Connecticut broadleaf wrapper that's actually a Pennsylvanian broadleaf, giving it a black pepper, espresso, and coffee bean flavor. Now, I love to look at this cigar. The Pennsylvania broadleaf makes it almost look like a barber pole. It's almost a two-toned in shade, and that description sounds fantastic and right up my alley. $4.25, that cigar breaks down to. Hell of a deal. For a chunky 60, I believe, at that. Hell of a deal. All right, I couldn't make this list. I could not make this list without mentioning this brand, without mentioning this line of cigars, and that is the Buffalo 10, $5 a piece, okay? You have a natural option, a Maduro option, and a Connecticut option. All of them are fantastic, but on this list, I'm gonna recommend the Connecticut because there's just something so special about that cigar. Smoking down the uh, Buffalo 10 Connecticut here. And I gotta say, even though it's in the rain, even though I'm having to hold a stupid umbrella and have to make sure it doesn't fly out my friggin' window, it's a good cigar, man. It's fun. Sometimes you just gotta do shit to do shit. You know what I mean? Smoke a cigar in the rain. The burn is doing pretty well. Uh, I mean, it's ass, but these are not exactly ideal conditions. Flavor notes, fantastic, man. It's a solid mild to medium cigar, almost like kissing the ass of medium, I'd say. Um, really nice notes of cedar to it. Still pretty creamy, but nice little bit, not meaty, but meat to it. You know what I mean? It's not like a twig, bitch. It's got some meat on its bones. Okay. I like it. My number five option for the best budget cigar of 2023 is going to be the Alec Bradley Project 40. Okay. This cigar was sent to me by Master Your Ash. I didn't really want to smoke it, but I figured, hey, it's perfect for Frugal Fridays. I lit that thing up with not enough time finishing to smoke it because I figured I'd just do a quick cheapy review. No, that thing is a champion of Frugal Fridays, and it is just a great cigar for around five, five fifty a stick. And you know what? It's creamy, it's vanilla, it's distinctly vanilla. It's black pepper. It's very creamy. Vanilla? Bready? A little bit of salt and pepper on the palate. It's a Nicaraguan wrapper with a uh, Habano Brazilian binder and all Nicaraguan filler. 
and it is dope as hell, man. It's hard to beat that cigar, and I believe there's also a Maduro version, but I can't speak on that because I've only had the natural, I believe. Um, I believe that's what it is. Wonderful Alec Bradley option. Probably one of their best cigars and one of their cheapest cigars at that. Unbeatable. Unbeatable by Alec Bradley, to be honest. But my number six option on this list of budget cigars that I think you should definitely give a chance. It's one of my all-time favorite budget sticks. One of my all-time favorite cigars when I first started the channel to begin with. And that's the La Aroma de Cuba. And if you're looking for a chocolatey, spicy raisinette, you can't go wrong with that cigar. La Aroma de Cuba is a beautifully sweet and peppery cigar. An original Cuban brand reborn and now a part of the Ashton family. Handcrafted in Esteli, Nicaragua. This chocolatey cigar consists of a true USA Connecticut broadleaf with aged Nicaraguan binder and filler. This is a top tier cigar at an affordable price. It's one I go back to time and time again. All right, option number seven on this list this is a five dollar and ninety cent msrp cigar going way back to one of my first videos it's the baccarat or the baccarat make you happy the game specifically in maduro that's the ash we're looking for that's the ash we're talking about that's the ash from baccarat yes i put the band back on so i can get a better thumbnail who you think i am but i got the thumbnail picture Good stick, the cigar flavors have not changed. It's still just very strong tobacco. It's a solid, rich tobacco cigar. Um, the nuts of cocoa are gone. The pepper is gone. Um, it's just straight tobacco now. If you really like solid tobacco cigars, just great traditional flavors, hints of cocoa, lots of pepper on the retro hail, nice spice, nice little tingle, a good stick overall, check out the Baccarat in Maduro. Now, Baccarat the game also comes in a Connecticut. That was actually my very first review ever. Feel free to check that out. And they're really, really fantastic. Semi-sweet cigars, great for a budget and a nice smoke. One of the oldest cigar brands in the game. And in fact, they're actually made by Davidoff in a old Camacho factory. So are you getting quality under a different brand name? Absolutely you are. Number eight is one of my all time favorite cigars, just flat out damn period, okay? It's the Nica Libri Aganorsa. And if you're looking for a budget Corojo, this is the cigar for you. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that ash, look at that burn. Fantastic construction, no acrid taste so far. We're smoking it a little too fast, but we are just enjoying this fantastically creamy, smooth cigar. Creamy cigar with nice, sweet, bready notes to it, uh, complexed and compounded by some nice peppery notes that follow. So it keeps it nice and interesting. You get sweet, you get pepper, you get a touch of salt, you get really nice coffee and chocolate notes when you just kind of let it rest in your mouth and push through the nose. It is an overall, this is a great go-to cigar. This is box worthy. Number nine on my list of the top 10 budget cigars that I think you should check out in 2023 is the Brick House. It's the Brick House by J.C. Newman. Now, this cigar MSRP is for a little over $7 in most places, but if you go to a place that I can't say the name of, because I don't know if YouTube is going to be cool censoring it, but like you can buy maybe like a total amount of wine there. Um, or maybe you need some spectacles if you're in Texas, but there's alcohol instead of glasses. They go for about six bucks. The original Brickhouse cigar was a true Cuban puro, named after J.C. Newman's childhood home, a small brick house in their Hungarian village. 80 years later, it was reborn into the Brickhouse Classic, or Brickhouse Habano, that we know today. This beautifully priced cigar is filled with rich Nicaraguan tobaccos wrapped in a Havana Sobiro leaf. This multiple award-winning cigar will surprise you with its quality for its price tag. Now I'd love to tell you more, so grab a drink and a smoke if you got one, and let's get right into the review. They go for $6.80, which is under the $7 limit I put on this list. And it is, in my opinion, one of the best budget Habanos you can buy. It comes out of Pensa, and it's amazing. 
Number 10. Now, number 10 might piss some people off, but $7 is the max, and actually some of them go for $6. Because number 10, the most expensive, right, of all the budget cigars on this list, the Big Mac Daddy, okay? It's the entire industry killer line by Sanj Patel. This is the industry killer by Sanj Patel, and this is the Habano. Now, this line of cigars, there are four in total. There is the Industry Killer Habano, the Industry Killer Maduro, the Industry Killer RS88 Habano, and RS88 Maduro. Uh, they are all Dominican Puros, and the difference between them is basically the 88s have a slightly better and different tobacco, slightly more expensive wrapper, I believe uh, Assange said specifically. Um, those difference in price. So the regular industry killers here is six dollars You can tell because it has a piggy tail cap right here at the top and no band the RS 88s have uh, a triple cap Triple cap A triple cap Maduro Habano RS 88 Habano RS 88 Maduro RS 88 Connecticut and I haven't tried the Cameroon yet, but that one's coming too all of those cigars are six or seven dollars and they are all phenomenal if you can find them and you're looking for a budget cigar that is maduro habano or connecticut i cannot stress how it's a no-brainer to pick these up they are not flashy they have no cool banding they have no cool anything about them but they do have a triple cap and they're fantastic they are, from what I have had, flawless. They have wonderful flavors. They are priced well below the category that they can actually fight in. And if you got seven bucks, six to seven bucks to burn, and you want to pick up a cigar, get your hands on an industry killer. Project Kill the Industry should do exactly that. Because what I'm smoking right now is a $52 Placencia Year of the Rabbit. And it does not compare to the RS-88, the industry killer, RS-88, Habano, Maduro, or Connecticut. And those three are all $7. Do not sleep on budget cigars. If you want to buy a pretty band and pay for marketing, you are more than happy to. But I suggest you buy some quality over something that is expensive. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite budget cigars for under $7. I would love to hear your options. And if you want to join the Bushel of Bad Apples, you hit that subscribe button. But as always, you can call me DJ. Thanks for watching, PJ. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.